Hello everybody, it's Amy Chitila and welcome to the first episode of the manga reviews from the Dream Seekers. So, for the first episode here, I brought you this piece. It's called Buddy Go and it's from Minori Kurasaki. She is the mangaka of two one-shots and this is actually her first whole manga series. It has 11 volumes and it's such a great manga. <laughs> the genre of this manga is shoujo or um, romance. It's 13 plus so consider this a uh, not child friendly video I guess. Actually it's nothing happening here but we support something um, for people up of the age of 13 so please ask your parents first if you want to read this or listen to this video and stuff. This is a black and white manga, normal black and white, you can see it on the first pages here, da -da 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 -da. it's black and white. So let's start with what's happening inside. We talk about I Shizuki Ishii. She is the girl with the pink hair. Yeah, she is a very shy and timid girl um, having problems in the second year of middle school, just talking about, uh, talking with people and talking about her feelings and talking with the teacher. She cannot really express herself. The only thing um, I uh, loves is dancing and she cannot express her feelings there as well because in her early childhood, a lot of people were laughing at her, which is not a nice topic, by the way, but I don't want to talk about that. Um, <laughs> yeah, so um, she was laughed at when she was dancing and as a small child, and so she just um, couldn't dance in front of other people, although she loves dancing really much. <laughs> and um, her best friend, Ki-chan, she tries to support her and says, Oh, you know what? Um, I love your dancing and uh, you have to show it to the world. So here's a good website and we have to make some videos. And um, because I is very timid, um, they decided to um, make a wig for her and um, put on some makeup um, on her face. So she isn't a girl anymore, she's a guy now and that's the blue haired one on the right side of the cover that's actually Ai Shizuki Ishii as well but it's Ai as the dancer Ai <laughs> so um, yeah she just takes the same name but it's a boy <laughs> she just dances um, in this videos and her goal is to beat Hayate someday and Hayate is her favorite idol. It's the guy with the blonde hair on the left side of the cover. Yeah, he's a very good dancer. He's in an extra company for idols and stuff who promote him and everything. So he's very well known in the internet and everybody loves him and um, I just says he's my rival because I want to be like him or surpass him. Because of some circumstances, um, they got to meet and uh, the company said, uh, you know what, I, uh, so the boy, you are such a great dancer, you um, got nearly to beat Hayate, so how about we make a duo out of you, so you're the duo buddies. <laughs> Welcome to the idol life. <laughs> And yeah, it's um, funny. <laughs> Only the manager knows that I is a girl and the manager says you have to have your identity a secret and yeah, it's very difficult to hide yourself if you're living with Hyatt in the same room. <laughs> and yeah, there are a lot of misunderstandings and it's very, very funny. Beside that, that there are are a duo now. I still has to go to school. She's not only a, an idol now, she's also still Ai Shizukuishi with the pink hair and um, needs to go to school with her best friend Kichan. And yeah, funny uh, because there uh, one day she met Hayate. 
as a girl. Uh, he started liking her. He wanted to go on a date with her and stuff and yeah. <laughs> Huh, <laughs> it's very funny if the boy you're living with just wants to be with you. <laughs> That's not the only thing which happens in the manga. It's not only about um, them being the idols and um, Hayato trying to be a boyfriend to Aishi Tsukishi. It's all about Aishi Tsukishi's identity crisis. <laughs> so she's dancing as a boy and um, still growing as a girl and so that changes you and that changes your image and stuff so um, yeah <laughs> how can you live with that and um, how can you be with your best friends and uh, you meet new friends in the business and you meet new rivals and how can you surpass them because you always have to be on top of the list and you still have to overcome your own abilities and just grow it's very it's very nice it's very cute it's very cute drawn and stuff so yeah i love this manga <laughs> so so much about the story i said in the previous video i don't want to spoil anything so it's very hard to describe a story without spoiling anything so yeah <laughs> Just bear with me here, I hope you have a slight idea of what this story is about. It's all about dancing, to summarize it, and yeah, it's, it's very nice. <laughs> Getting to the third point of our to-do list <laughs> is, um, what is my favorite part about this? Actually everything. Well, I totally love the last volume. Just read it and get to that point and you know why I love the last volume. I totally like the drawing style because it's not this big eyes and great hair, it's um, more about the dancing stuff. I mean, they have a great character design with um, cute eyes, but it's not all about the eyes in a normal shoujo. It's more about the dancing stuff and you can really read that, you can really see that they are doing something very exhausting. <laughs> The artist, so the mangaka Minori Kurosaki just got it on point there that um, a lot of things they do and a lot of things um, they dance are very exhausting. <laughs> it's more like breakdance and yeah, breakdance is very exhausting. I mean, respect to anybody who breakdances, just you have my respect. <laughs> The second thing is um, I love the character design, just as I said, because um, although there is a person who plays two different roles, you totally can understand that it, it's still the same person. So you can see it's still Aishi Tsukuyishi, but you can differ between the male one and the female one. And not just because they are saying it the whole time, but you can see it in the character. I'm a total fan of the genre as well. I mean, I love shoujo, but I think combining it with the dancing stuff is very great. It's awesome to have a dance love story without all those embarrassing moments and uh, lying in his arms because she is a girl and they do a lot of paired stuff and blah. It's, it's very funny. The story is very great. It's not just some typical love story you know from any TV show. So yeah, it's something different and that's uh, that makes it great. There, I, I like everything about it. I like the whole story concept and I like the whole character design and drawings and stuff and before I repeat myself, I just say I love this manga. It's great. All in all, to summarize everything up, I give this manga series a 5 out of 5 stars. Try to change my mind. I think it definitely deserves those 5 stars. But I think I'm kind of the type of guy that uh, loves easy relationships getting more complicated as they should be. <laughs> but yeah, it's very great. Um, after some research, I just found out that there's an anime about this manga as well. And yeah, maybe I give it a try. Um, my motto is actually that books always better than a movie. 
well mostly but maybe I'll just give it a try just to see how they converted everything I guess I want to see that right now I'm just getting hyped right now <laughs> Let me know in the comments down below what you think about this manga and how you would rate it. Just again, this series is called Body Go from Minori Kurasaki and it has 12 volumes, just to say that again. <laughs> if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button down below, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can get another manga review when the when I post it, when I when the time's right, whenever I don't delete those footage again. <laughs> so I guess that's it for the first episode and then we see us in the second one. Yeah, bye bye. Don't forget to keep your dreams alive. Dream seekers, oh, we will keep them in our hearts.